And so the game plan tonight is to do something, uh, one of those little projects for the lathe that uh, I've always wanted to, I've always said I'd do some time or another, and I just got inspired by an A-bomb video to do it, uh, and that's to make a, uh, a tool post mount for the lathe. Um, so I got an empty tool post here, I got a, a little uh, cheapy Chinese indicator. I think if this project turns out well, it might inspire me to send this uh, this old Ames, that's actually a very nice indicator, uh, off for repair and, and refurbing. Um, and then this will become the one that lives here. But uh, for now, <clears throat> got this one that will do the job. And I have this piece of uh, aluminum flat bar. It says it's 6061. Honestly, I don't know my aluminum well enough to tell you what that means. So, it's uh, the right size, feels good, solid, and fits very nicely in the uh, tool holder. Gives me plenty of clearance out here, so I actually have some room to play with. I can machine it back, get this in closer, depending on whether it interferes. I don't want it to interfere with the thumb wheel, so I won't take too much off of it. So, um, yeah, so this... This design, where it fits this way into a tool holder, uh, is uh, similar to a, a commercial project, product that uh, Abom featured the other night, which looked pretty cool. I have no idea how much that costs, but uh, you know, might be well worth it. I just happen to have these things laying around, and I'm like, well, I can make my own, so I'm gonna. And uh, I liked this idea of having the um, dial indicator parallel to the uh, the holder. Uh, for my purposes, this will work better than the one that I've seen uh, Double Boost, uh, the one he has rigged up. He has his tool holder set this way, he has a bar here, and then the indicator screws into the bar like that. And the only thing that um, I like better about bringing it back is that I have limited travel with my carriage. And this just seems like it'll keep it more in the range. See, like I just now took it off the the um, screw just by demonstrating that just now. So I'll keep it far, you know, closer to the normal operating range if I have the indicator up close like this. Actually, that's, that doesn't bode well. I think I can still make it work, you know, because basically in line here, yeah. I'll just have to remember that I'm always going to have to stop before I come this far back and then which means I'll end up having to you know pull the indicator out bring it in put it where I want it so it's not going to be you know I don't do big honking I rarely do big honking pieces of metal anyway if it comes to that I could always uh, you know just take what I've always what I've done up till now which is to use a magnetic base that I put down here or here and then set it up but this should make it nice quick and easy for most things that I do so that's project for tonight. I'm just going to cut down this uh, little piece of bar, you know, machine it up to make it look nice, and uh, probably take a little bit of the width off. Um, <clears throat> tap a hole, find an appropriate uh, size bolt that I want to use here. It would be nice if I had this, uh, like if I had a thicker piece and I machined a corner of it down to where it just, you know, solidly registered on the tool holder and then that left me more meat to screw in on the side that would probably be, you know, a little closer to ideal um, I just don't have that around right now so I think this will uh, this will do the trick and I can make another, a little piece of aluminum uh, that'll uh, make it ride, it'll ride on that and give it some more stability um, it's just an experiment shouldn't take too long just gonna knock it out real quick. I probably won't show any of the the bandsaw work or anything like that. You've seen that plenty of times. We'll just uh, see it when it comes back together here. Well, I'm glad I tried this out. I was uh, trying to decide whether I wanted to make this thing longer so that it could slide in and out, or just perfectly the size of the uh, tool holder. And while I was playing around with that, I noticed wow, we're way off center. And then I looked at my adjustment here and we're about at the top already so 
long story short, even if I let this thing fall all the way to the bottom, yeah, see. Oops, sorry about that. My battery died. What I was trying to show you was that even if I drop my uh, tool pole, tool holder all the way to the bottom of its travel, that's all the way down, then um, I'm still above center with this thing. So this isn't going to work with just the flat bar. I'm going to have to modify my design a little bit. Um, could do a couple things. I could make a a plate that comes out and then bolts to another plate down below, which may be the way I go. Or I could sacrifice a big thick piece that I do have that I didn't want to use um, and uh, cut a step in it and bring it down. So I have to decide what I want to do. What do you think? What should I do? Alright, so now I'm getting really crazy. Now I'm thinking, you know what? Why waste a tool holder? I've got a dovetail cutter that I haven't used yet. I traded it for some other stuff recently. So if I make myself a holder with a dovetail, then it'll just uh, lock right in. This is rapidly becoming not a quick Wham bam, thank you ma'am. This is becoming a little bit more involved, especially since I was thinking if I could do a dovetail on one side, I could do a dovetail on the other side, and then the whole thing could go whoosh, and then I would have the ability to do face uh, indicating as well, which would be awesome. So this is where I'm leaning now. So now I'm starting to think I need a drawing. This started off as something just doing in my head and now it's becoming time to get out the pencil and paper. I decided to go with a different, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided to go with a different indicator in my little collection here. This is also just a uh, made in China one, but it's an older one, and I tell you, this one uh, feels better than that other one that I have. Uh, so, there's made in China and there's made in China. Anyway, the reason I uh, changed this one out was that... Uh, it turns out that the other indicator actually had a taper here. So when I snugged up the screw, it was just kind of just a teeny bit cockeyed. I mean, it wouldn't have affected anything really, but I just, I kind of liked it being flush. So I switched it out. <clears throat> um, all right, so game plan now. I decided, you know, just looking at it and the tool post and everything, uh, I was just going to cut this back to about, say, here, and put like three screws in a triangular pattern, but I don't think it needs all that rigidity. Um, I think I'll be fine cutting this off about here, this guy, you know, giving myself a half inch of overlap here, and just putting three screws, boom, 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 and then having, you know, just a little bit. It'll make the whole thing more compact, and um, it, uh, it'll do the job. Very well. Alright, so all the little parts and pieces are ready to go back together. So this... Uh, see, I cut it down. Um, 
That was my registration mark that I put on there. I put a little witness before I chopped all this stuff to remember, you know, which way was which. So that goes on here. Oops, not. That. This would have been so much easier with a thicker piece. You could have just notched that and notched there. Or some other, you know, there's other ways you could have gone about it, but anyway. I look at pretty much everything as practice. So, I got some practice drilling and tapping holes today. Yay! Now, these protrude, so I think I'm going to end up uh, grinding those back so they don't do that anymore. Same with, um, I'm going to put the little recess in here for the, the back plate. And this protrudes a little bit. I think uh, at this point, this adapter is going to be made for this dial. I, I've given up on the idea of the universal adapter because uh, it turns out as I look through all my, you know, indicators that are laying around, they're all a teeny bit different. So... So this uh, became sort of a custom fit just for this one adapter. And so this is the one that's going to live on here. And if I ever, uh, you know, take it that next step and make the one that I uh, envisioned where it would um, basically flip from side to side, then uh, you know, I'll probably just give this away to somebody. Because it's uh, not worth trying to adapt it. Alright, oops. One more step here. Actually, pretty close to center already. Oops. So, if you're trying to check that for a run out, just dial it right in there. You can sweep it. It's a very rough surface on here, the reason the needle's gone crazy. Yeah, it's not an ideal test piece, but um, that's the idea, so it should work out great, and even if I have an inside diameter, I got one of these little jokers, I don't know if it'll fit, fact indicator, I didn't test that. I have an inside diameter that I'm trying to test. I uh, put it inside. So you're good to go. I think this is going to work very well. This is going to be a well used tool. Cool. Happy to have some have that done.